Okay, so here's this week's problem. So the truck we just got back from the auto body shop because all of this got ruined, so they had to replace it all. And they put on a different fan shroud. This fan shroud, as you can see, most of the fan is exposed. There's only about a half inch of the fan that's actually behind this, this cover. So not only is it a lot more dangerous than the fan shroud we had, which went to about here, but also it's not pulling enough air. I feel like most of the air is getting sucked in through like around here and it's also blowing a lot of hot air up and that's making all of this extremely hot to, to the point where I can't touch it um, if let's say something overheats here if I need to get back here um, while we're driving. Another problem is I cannot feel any air being pulled through any of these cooling elements. My transmission temperature is running way too high and I've noticed that my truck temperature is running a little higher than it's supposed to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extend this shroud right here and then we're going to see if that increases the amount of air that's being pulled through all the cooling elements up here in the front. So let's get started. Okay, so here's what we got. This is the inside of the shroud. So this side right here points toward the fan. This is the bottom, there's the top. Um, I know because ours is an electrical powered fan, it's not actual um, an engine powered or it has a clutch in it. Um, this one, um, we need to have a wire hole in the bottom. So it's not gonna actually be a full circle shroud. I wish we could, but that wire in the bottom is just a pain in the butt and it always gets ripped up into the fan. So what we're going to do is make it go to about here. And I was thinking because the fan, the, the widest part of the fan is going to be right here about making this bottom part um, kind of a hinge. So keep the circular shape, but put a hinge in here just so we can uh, hinge it around and make it easier for installation. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's get started. So every fan shroud I found online is about three inches wide. I'm assuming that there's a reason why they're all three inches wide. I measured on the fan. I think we can get about three inches of clearance. We could probably get a little more, but let's make one piece three inches and see how far it gets us.
It's about halfway. I was really hoping it would go to about here on both sides. So that was my original plan with like the hinges here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt this up, see how this works, um, see if it makes a difference, and then um, we'll go from there whether we do a bottom piece or not. Okay, let's find our bolts. All right, so I got a whole bunch of uh, bolts, nuts, and then I even got two washers for each bolt and nut, and that should work out pretty good. So let's put all this together. Okay, so we're gonna put a hole right in the middle of the very top. There we go. And we're gonna do um, five bolts on this top just to hopefully hug the entire thing. So now let's go all the way to the bottom. I need to first fasten this and put some holes in this metal piece. This seems about centered.
watch this burr right there and see exactly what happens whenever we use the larger bit. Hold on. Completely smooth. There's a burr right there. Let's get it put together. This is what it looks like, all finished. Definitely expands it out quite a bit. The original one went to about here, and that's only on the top. Down here on the sides, it basically just disappeared as it goes all the way down. Gets to about a quarter of an inch thick. So, this three inch piece should work a lot better. All right, let's see how easy this goes in. Definitely a lot heavier. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's get this thing bolted together. All right, so here is what it looks like. There's about, oh, I'd say an inch of clearance all the way around. So let's start it up, see how it does. definitely feel air getting pulled through here though which is exactly what I wanted kind of by the transmission cooler uh, I think going all the way around would be better 
but this is good enough for now. We can do the other bit on a day we have more time. But I'm happy to see air is getting pulled through here at idle. Plus, don't have to worry about my hand getting caught in that fan and only air is getting blown out here, not up here. So that worked out really good.